What's going on everybody? Alex back with another cryptocurrency video and today we're going to be talking about Binance, a full complete tutorial on everything you need to know about this exchange, exactly how to get your money into Binance, exactly how to trade it for various altcoin cryptocurrency assets, and basically every detail I could possibly come up with with this cryptocurrency exchange. Now I'm gonna make it as simple as possible because I understand that this stuff is very confusing when you're first getting started with cryptocurrency and also towards the end of this video, so wait towards the end of this video, I'm gonna talk about a small cryptocurrency trading strategy that I used back in the day to make some small profits. Now I'm not saying you're gonna get rich off of it, but it's good to kind of get your brain wrapped around it so you can understand what people are doing in cryptocurrency to make money and you can kind of navigate around it. Now, the best strategy for sure is holding your cryptocurrency, but I'm gonna give you some uh, tips here and there, right? Now, before we get started, guys, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, can you please do me that favor? We basically talk about anything entrepreneurial. I'm not just about cryptocurrency. I also do online marketing, you know, internet psychology, um, here and there, you know, I do some product uh, creation, product research, all these different various things that uh, entrepreneurs need to learn when they're first coming up. This is for the people that are coming from the bottom. I'm not rich in any way, but I do give you practical, truthful advice without trying to deceive you with Lamborghinis, okay, guys? So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that push notification bell so you can get the videos first. Um, I do come out with these videos that potentially make people money if you get in quick. So definitely hit that push notifications. Now let's jump right into it. All right, so this is the Binance Exchange. Okay, this is the complete Binance exchange. This is ma the, ma the majority of the popularity that this exchange got was from basically um, having the most cryptocurrency. So what it does is a primary role from what I, my understanding is that you get B Bitcoin into it, you exchange it for all these smaller coins that are not on the big exchanges like Coinbase. Now, if you wanna get your money, your fiat currency, your government backed currency, and whatever country you're in, you need to use Coinbase. So if you wanna hook up your bank account or your credit card to get Bitcoin, use Coinbase. I have a full complete tutorial. I'll leave the link in the description so you can get access to that and get your money, your fiat currency into Coinbase. Now, when you have Coinbase, you wanna send the Bitcoin or whatever coin you purchased over to Binance so you can get the smaller cryptocurrencies, right? So now let's go over it. So first thing is you have two exchanges. You got the advanced exchange and you got the basic exchange. For my technical analysis people that know about all these technical indicators, you got all these different types of tools on the left-hand bar here that you can use. I highly recommend you guys use TradingView. Do not use the Binance Exchange. TradingView gives you a better overall understanding. Also, if you're using charts, please, please use a chart on an actual exchange do not use a random chart. Use something that is actually has real volume. I recommend the Coinbase exchange, at least if you're using TradingView. Okay, that's besides the point. But this is the advanced view. Most of you are not gonna use this. Most of you are gonna use this basic exchange because it's a lot easier to get in and out of coins and to understand, right? So you have right here, trade history, what people are buying and selling, you know, um, you know their cryptocurrencies for. You can see yours on the side. Um, you see, I don't do too much trading. I also do not leave my money on any of these exchanges. Binance recently got hacked. Um, you never want to leave your money on exchanges. Now, there's a common misconception of when people get hacked, they start automatically assorting, oh, Bitcoin's weak, Bitcoin got hacked. No, Bitcoin is its own entity. And then you have these third-party exchanges that, you know, um, move them back and forth. Bitcoin has never been hacked before, but exchanges get hacked all the time. So never leave your money sitting on these exchanges. Put them somewhere else, somewhere safe, like a cold storage um, or you know a computer hardware wallet. All right. So understand that if you get burned for having your money on exchange, it's like a number one rule in cryptocurrency: do not leave your money on exchanges. But you can use them. Okay, so you know, here's a trade history. Here's all the different pairs. All these prices are according to the price of Bitcoin, not US dollars. We are in a different market, people. Um, it's gonna explain it to you in Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the big dog. It has 58.1% of the market dominance, uh, meaning how much money is in cryptocurrency in general. It is the big dog. So everything is calculated in Bitcoin. So for example, one ADA, is worth 
0.0001048 of a Bitcoin, okay? And these are called Satoshi, so you can do some research on that, but this is not a video for that, okay? So we got over here, um, the order book, okay? So this is basically what people are going to sell it. They put in limit orders. I'm gonna explain limit market and stop limits in a second, but they put in limit orders. So right here, all these people are trying to sell basic attention tokens. So right now I have basically clicked bat. So I'm just going to do it again. So you search whatever coin you want. If you have a problem um, finding like their exact, like, I, I guess, letters or whatever, you come on over here to coinmarketcap.com. I'll leave the link in the description. All the links will be in the description, including the Binance link. Please my, use our links so that we can, you know, you can support our channel and we can all grow together as one. So right here, you know, you can see for example, Bitcoin, where there's a way you can see it. If you click it, it'll show you for sure. It's going to show you BTC right here at the bottom. So you can find the different, um, you know, combinations that you need, like Ethereum's ETH. Hopefully you memorize this in the future. But yeah, that's where you'll find them. You got the order book here. I'm in basic attention token. So all these people right here are selling. This guy wants to sell 2777 at this many satoshis at this price this is like basically the price of it right and then they're selling this amount so this is how much they're selling this is the price at which they're selling it and these are many tokens that comes out for it and these people are buying right so buyers sellers this is the order book okay so go through this before you put your money into cryptocurrency you genuinely need to understand all of these you know um i guess you can say uh, terms or whatever you need to know exactly what's going on in the exchange because this is one of the most volatile markets in you know the whole entire world guys bitcoin is going to change everything this is the internet it's a lot quicker to do transactions so people are constantly buying and selling people are constantly manipulating the market please understand what you're doing before you start putting your retirement retirement money into bitcoin okay so you got limit orders, market orders, and stop limits. Limits are very simple. All it means is that you buy a certain coin at a certain price. So for example, right now, basic attention token is at, let's for, for short, let's just say 530 um, Satoshis, right? So if I wanna buy it at a little lower price so I can get it on discount, let's say I wanna buy it at 4471. What I would do is take these zeros put 4471 and then the amount of coins I want to buy let's say I want to buy 100 coins it just all depends on how much Bitcoin you have um, so you could even do like let's say you have one whole Bitcoin you could do 50% which would be point I don't have any Bitcoin right now I think I have a little bit but you could do 50% of that pile you could do 25% this is just an easy quicker way and then you would put the limit order in once you put that limit order in you're gonna see it right here pop up and it will stay here until it's fulfilled so in your balances when you click here to balances, it's not going to show it. But when you look here, you're going to see that it's open. It gets filled once this line drops to here. It will get filled automatically. Okay, so that's what limit orders are. That's how you get cheaper stuff. That's how you you kind of um, a lot of traders will use this to kind of like gauge a, a, a good price to get in on and then automatically put it. Okay, so you got market um, market orders. So market orders are a, the probably the quickest way to get your coins. So if you want to just get it for the price that it's trading at right now, so it's trading at right now um, 5303 Satoshis, right? So you will buy it. You just literally put the amount you want to buy. So you want to buy 100, boom, buy back. That should fill almost automatically. It might take a couple minutes and you will not see an order, but you will see it in your um, balances. Okay, I'm going to go over the balances and all that pretty soon. Let me just finish this up. Then you got stop limits right here which is basically a way to save your money if you don't want it to go down. So let's say you bought some basic attention token, but you don't want it to go past uh, 4815. So you'll put a stop limit in there for 4815, the amount of coins you want to sell, and it will automatically sell or buy for you, okay? Now, I highly suggest you look more into this. There's a lot of articles that talk about it. You can read more overall. I'm just going over Binance in general. Um, but you definitely need to understand limit market and stop orders like the back of your hand. They're all the same on every single market um, exchange. Okay, so now let's go to balances. 
this is where you see all the balances like i said i do not keep that much money on different exchanges i have my steam here but a little pro tip if you want to hide all these random balances because you know cryptocurrencies get fragmented i'm over here buying all these different coins you can't sell them all 0.23 of a raven coin is like less than a cent so like you got all these annoying numbers if you want to just like kind of hide it click this button right here you'll see your real balance of exactly what you have okay this is just a way to see exactly what's going on then you have deposits and withdrawals they're one in the same thing okay so right now I believe Binance is down. They're not letting anyone do any withdrawals or deposits because they just recently got hacked. Like I said, guys, rookies leave their money on exchanges. Do not leave your money on exchange. Please do me a favor and get a hardware wallet. In the future, I will make a video on this, but for now, understand it. Just understand it so that you don't make the same mistake everybody else does, okay? So just an example so you can understand what's going on. Let's say I wanna deposit Bitcoin into Binance now, um, if you want to get your fiat currency, I'll leave a, a link in the description for a, a, a video to explain how to get your actual cash, like your government backed currency, like which means like US dollars or euros into Bitcoin. So that's how you do it. So you get your euros into Bitcoin, then you take Bitcoin and you split it off into these different altcoins. If you want to learn how to do that, I'll leave a link in the description. But for the sake of this video, let's say you already did it. Okay. So say you have some. I have Ethereum, so let's say you bought Ethereum, right? You can do any coin because they all split onto split into each other, right? So let's say you bought some Ethereum. So I want to send it from Coinbase to Binance. So I'll click send. They're gonna give me. They're gonna ask for a code. They're like, okay, you want to send your Ethereum? Please tell me where to send it. Then I'll come here, go to deposit, and they're gonna give me a code. The reason why I don't have a code here is because again, they're getting hacked. They're trying to stop people stop transactions from happening but you'll have a code here you just simply copy the code put it in there put how much ethereum you want to send off and press continue you might get some email um verifications which is good for you so you don't want to steal your money um verify them and it will get sent over on the blockchain it might take a couple of minutes depending on the network you know volume if there's a whole bunch of people trying to get into ethereum um, it might take a little bit of time. Understand, these are all separate blockchains. Ethereum has its own blockchain. Bitcoin has its own blockchain. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, do some research on the blockchain, please. Um, and if it's bogged up, it might take a while. Now, it's guaranteed to get there as long as you copy the address correctly. Do not miss. Please just do copy paste. Now, let's just do the other way around, right? Say you want to withdraw from Binance and put it to your, your Coinbase. So what you would do, did you click receive? I understand. Copy this address. Do not try to type it and just copy it. Okay. Then you're going to come. Obviously, it's not going to be Bitcoin. It's going to be Ethereum. Make sure you're on point with this. Okay. There's no like service line. There's no like customer support. Hey, um, I accidentally sent my Ethereum to a Bitcoin address. No, you lost your money. Or they might just deny it. You never know. But most of the time, if you have, if you mess up, you've lost your money. So understand what you're doing, okay? So I want to receive Ethereum to this one right here. It's going to ask me for a code. Hey, what's your code? Um, your Ethereum address. You just copy it from Coinbase, put it right here, paste it there, boom. Then send it off, email verification, you're good to go. So that's how you deposit and withdraw from Binance and virtually any exchange. But this is obviously a Binance tutorial, okay? So here you can see your transaction history, all the trades you've made over time, okay? Mine's not that much. Again, guys, I don't trade that much. I just buy coins and hold it for the long haul. That is basically the best way to do it. Now you have open orders. Like I said before, if you put a limit order in, you can see them all here. Um, if you put stop limits, you can see them all here. Your order history, self-explanatory, the history of orders that you have put in, and your trade history. All right, guys, I think that's it for this tutorial. Like I promised, I will go over simple way to kind of try to make some money, some quick cash, um, or quick crypto, as you can say, um, with the Binance Exchange. It's simple, guys. Buy low sell high so what i used to do back in the day i do not do this anymore because it's just, i just have a little bit of a different investment strategy um i'll look for the big losers right so what you want to do is you look for the big ones that are like that took a big hit right so not just any coin because a lot of these are just like random coins like you don't want to just put your money into anything but for example something with credibility like i think basic attention token just took a big oh 
let's just see wabi's okay um and the way you see its credibility lend is uh where's bat i could have sworn i saw it earlier let me see yeah bat took a big l right here that's a seven percent loss but the reason why I, I look at it as a potential is because if you come to coinmarketcap.com, it's going to show you, you know, basically the credible coins, things that are like have a lot of money in them. The more money that's in it, the more credibility it has. So I would say the top, you know, 50 to 30 coins probably have a little bit more credibility than some random coin that just came out. Right. So, you know, I'm not saying they're all perfect. A lot of these coins like Tether are, are a little scammy. Um, but for the most part, do your research on the coin. Look at the general consensus before you do what I'm talking about. Understand everything before you put your money into anything, right? But the reason why I say bat is because I think it has a lot of potential. So you'll look for a coin that just took a loss that has some good potential. Then you come over to the market here, the basic exchange, and then you look at the order book. So if I'm in bat right now, right? This is basic attention token. Sorry. Am I, yeah, buy bat, sell bat. Okay, so I have Bitcoin in here. So let's just say for hypothetical um, purposes, I have Bitcoin already. And now I look at the order book and I look for some big, big money. This is not really that big, right? You wanna look for something huge, right? Something where someone's putting like 10 Bitcoin. This guy's only sent, spending 0.74 of one Bitcoin, right? So this guy's only spending 0.61. So you can look at this for a long time and see you know, where, where and what price these people are buying them at. You might even be able to get, I do not want to recommend, you know, anything, but this is what I used to do. I used to look for huge, like I wouldn't, I would only do this if someone's buying like 20 to 30 Bitcoin at a time. So if I see a guy that says 20 Bitcoin, he's using 20 Bitcoin, he's buying at this price. What I'll do is I'll just follow the money. I'll buy it at that price too. So when he buys it, there's a good chance that it's going to go up a little bit and then I'll put it in an automatic sell order. Okay, so you can again just look at these. I wouldn't recommend doing it. With just, this is not going to move the market. Um, the reason why you do this is because they these people that are putting all this money they have some type of motive. Not necessarily when they buy it, the market's going to go up, but they they understand what they're probably doing a little bit more than you. So you can kind of follow their footsteps. But no, definitely not at these prices. I would definitely not do it with this guy, but you know that you could look at the order book, right? That's a good way to kind of get your footsteps into it. But again, typically buy low, sell high. If basic attention token is a credible coin, I think it's like number 23 right here. And it just took an L, you know, for the 24 hour, but that's in Binance, I guess right here, it went up a little bit. You know, you can use that here. There's another way you can come here. Here's another way you can look at the coins that just took a hit. So you press right here, change in 24 hours. You can see all these coins took a hit. See, basic attention token only went up a little bit compared to the market. So you wanna look at compared to Bitcoin, right? If Bitcoin's going up and your coin's staying the same, you're basically losing money because you could have been holding Bitcoin, right? So you just look for the major losers. Like I wouldn't, the reason why I wouldn't invest in this coin is because look, it's number 100. It's not really that credible. Even though it took a huge hit, it's not credible. It's probably gonna keep going down. You wanna find coins that have value that just take you know these huge hits. And plus today's a bad example because almost every coin went up. Everything's going up right now. So um, look for those red days, man. Look for those red days and drop some money in there and hopefully you can make some trades. But that's it for this video, guys. Again, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, my name is Alex. I do cryptocurrency investing. I also do entrepreneurship. I have all different types of businesses. Um, I've been doing digital marketing um, and I basically help people that are in a bad situation that want to become an entrepreneur. This is the nitty and gritty. I'm not, you know, trying to flash anything and no cars. This is like people are really in the mud that are trying to come up. Um, this channel is definitely for you. I give you all types of tips and tricks. Okay, guys, but that's it for this. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with this technology, you might get left behind. Catch you guys in the next video.